Hello everybody, Model Farm 6710 back here with another video and welcome back to episode 5 of Riverside Farm. It's the last and final episode of the short series. It's uh, been a very fun series, but yeah, the last episode, um, we are after having 5 episodes and there's a lot going on in this one. Let's get into it. So starting over here in Tom's side of the farm, uh, be a good bit of action here today guys uh, with the combining but also starting here at the church there's a wedding on later on so um, Huey is in the he dropped by the Ford 7810 Silver Jubilee for the wedding and then one of the other farmers dropped by the, Ford, the John Deere 61254 for the wedding as well so um, hopefully maybe it's a farmer that's uh, getting married uh, yeah but going around the bend here Going through the village, we have a John Deere 7430 and an NC dump trailer just coming from the quarry after getting a load of sand for a building site. So, uh, yeah, quite a nice tractor that, nice rig. And um, someone from America or something along them lines is after stopping by with this wicked, I think it's a Chevrolet pickup truck and it has a, a big winch on the back, big crane for towing uh, cars and whatnot. And uh, it looks like it's restored to a high standard. And yeah, it's just in for a nice, a nice drink in the in the pub here. And uh, yeah, it's uh, quite nice now. Uh, nice, I must say. And then there's also a a man in here for another drink as well with a um, Ford Transit van. But get on to the more exciting um, stuff here. We have a bit of combining going on. Larry is in his international 1066, or no, it's a 1460 rotary combine. Um, Tom is after getting him in to do a bit of combining, and he's a good friend of his. Tom has been friends with him for the past 30 years, so he's uh, good friends now. And Tom is just offloading from the wind the Ford 6610. The Dites is having a rest today, as you see, it's just parked around the corner there. But yeah, it's uh, unloading. Larry is unloading in the into the week's trailer. And yeah, it's working away through the field anyway. We'll just get another view at the front here. Very nice now, and it's got a big big load now into the week's trailer. But yeah, it's a nice crop so it is of uh, winter barley and there's a good bit of straw off it as well. It looks like lovely straw. And then over here, we have uh, Tom's son in the Massey Ferguson 188 and the number three baler. So a Massey Ferguson baler and a Massey Ferguson tractor heading in the bale this field of straw for conventional bales. And they'll use a bit of it for sheep and they'll sell the rest of it on to some uh, horse farmers or studs, which they like using. But yeah, over here in the main yard, we have uh, Huey. He's in the foot in the Fiat Agri one ten ninety. He's after again the taking custody of the Fiat Agri for the moment, and he's gonna see if he can get away with it anyway. And he's been getting in touch with everyone and anyone to try see who owns the tractor, and no one is owning up to it. So he's gonna take custody of it, and uh, he has no issue with it as these tractors, these one hundred nineties, one ten nineties, are worth quite a bit of money. So he's gonna, he's happy enough taking it, but yeah, he's just dropping in a bag of fertilizer for Tom, and Tom's wife has the tree C at the ready to take the bag of fertilizer off. And yeah, Tom's wife is waiting there, looking at the livestock. And as you see, they've opened up the gate there to allow the livestock mix in with everything. So that's about it there guys in Tom's farm. Quite a nice bit of action going on there. So lovely to see the combine going on. A lovely time, a lovely harvest or job to see going on. So guys, over here at Huey's farm, uh, good bit going on. We have a, a neighbor passing by in his Ford 6600, an Abbey tanker. It's going off to spread of his slurry and uh, there's a, a farmer with his 3640 and his spearhead hedge cutter in to uh, 
cut all the hedges for Huey as he doesn't have a hedge cutter. But yeah, they're cutting and um, Huey's wife is just after dropping in a cup of tea for him. So he'll stop down a minute. The man, the sand lorry, is just uh, following the John Deere 7430 up there. Um, they're going off to a job and they didn't need a full load. They only have a half load. Over here, Mary is getting in the cows. They're all uh, there's a couple of ones that have to still stand up, but uh, they're going through the yard over to the milking parlor here. We've the JCB teleporter just boom with the boom out just to stop the cows getting into the shed. And yeah, a couple of cows are going across the yard there. And Mary has the fourteen ninety four case with the topper on it. On it. Um, when the cows go over to the milking parlor, she'll just uh, hop into it, do a quick topping, and park it up again. Huey's son is here in the case um, Puma 175 with the Red Rock slurry tanker. Just uh, about to go off, spread some slurry. And uh, we have the Fent 415 Vario with the bale trailer. He was after carting a couple of bales for... Um, uh, a friend there, a couple of silage bales. If the three cows are still in that field and they're due any moment as well. We have a new calf here as well. So we'll have a couple more calves on the way as well. That's pretty much uh, what's going on around here. But plenty more going on. So guys, we've reached the end of the series and of the episode. Uh, it's been a very good series. This is the last episode. And I'm very happy how it got on. And I'm very happy how the farmers are. Farmer Tom, he has this like beef and sheep farm. And he's a lovely selection of animals. His farm has grown over the last five episodes. And although we haven't been following seasons, it was still uh, kept interesting. And we've Larry in the combine and lovely, lovely scenes uh, around Tom's farm. I'm very happy how his farm got on. And over here on Huey's farm... I like the way the, all the, the dairy cows and all the machinery, Huey's farm was very good as well. I hope you've enjoyed it. And thanks everybody for watching guys. Um, you'll next see for the On The Farm series, you'll see the big 40 foot diorama which is coming to a finish. And hopefully it'll be a good series as well as a lot of work has been gone into it. But please let us know guys how you like this series. It's been a... A different compared to the last one as it's a bit smaller but also it's a bit different as we're not doing any seasons but hopefully you've enjoyed guys and if you did please like the video and subscribe to the channel and see you again in the next video bye for now bye for now